because we make very short video clips. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so now about motivation. Um, in our current world, people use ICT everywhere, as I told you. So we have to accept that one. Um, and systems will fail if they don't help the users. The, the, the system for the bus tickets failed because nobody knew how to buy a ticket, nobody knew which bus to take, and so on. So the system fails. Uh, and, and in many cases, there are different types of users. For the bus in Algero, the local people, the people who took the bus every day, they knew which bus to take, and they knew that they should buy their tickets on Saturday morning because on Monday the flower shop is closed. Right? But people who don't know, like the tourists or the visiting professors, they are a different type of users. They maybe need a different type of support because they have a different task. They, they don't have to learn the bus system. They need the bus just once. Right? So, um, and task analysis and modeling can help us to analyze and design. If we just understand the different tasks people need to do, and if we analyze them carefully, then we might be able to design systems that actually can be used without somebody first putting on sticky tape and paper pieces on the internet. Right? So this is my motivation for this course. So, task analysis is based on a lot of different questions. So, for instance, who is going to use the system or the tool? And for the bus, this could be the local people, people who live in Algero, or tourists who come from the airport, or, or maybe people who don't speak the language. And, and, and some people will, will use the bus every day, and some people will use the bus just once. Right? So, who is going to use parts of the system? Um, so, and, and, and what tasks are people performing? Because not all people are performing the same tasks. Maybe some people will enter the bus with the whole family. So they need a different type of ticket when there are children. Because children might have to pay less or not. I don't know. Somebody should be able to explain, right? Uh, um, uh, and, and we need to understand why people are performing the task. Why am I taking the bus? Maybe I'm taking the bus because it rains today. Otherwise, I would prefer to walk. And other people would always take the bus because they cannot walk so far, right? Or because they are old. So, um, and, and, and where are these tasks learned? How can somebody understand how to perform the task? If it's a task that, that you do with your machine, maybe the machines come with an explanation. But bus tickets don't come with an explanation. At least not in Italy. So, I get a bus ticket and then which bus? I don't know. Nobody tells me. So. Right, so how can we learn the task? And, and what is the relation between the tasks and the objects? By the way, I was in this nice coffee shop the other day, and I went back to the coffee shop, <coughs> and they recognized me, and when I ordered the coffee, they gave me a ticket with a stamp. So, there's a, an object. The object is a ticket, and, and now I have to understand what's the relation between this ticket and the coffee I get. The ticket, by the way, is in Chinese, so it doesn't tell me too much. But I think I understand, because we bought two cups of coffee, I got two stamps, so I think okay. if I have ten stamps, something nice will happen. Yeah. Maybe the lady will kiss me, or maybe I get an extra cup of coffee. You don't know. I'm surprised, right? I, I'm, I'm willing to, to, to get my ten stamps and then find out. Okay, so this is the, the objects, right? And, and, and I'm not sure, but I have good expectations here, right? Good. Okay, uh, more questions. What tools are available for users? So what can users do? In, in, in some machines in, in my university, I can choose the coffee myself by pressing buttons. But in the coffee shop, I tell somebody, and then this person presses buttons, right? So. What, what is available for the different users? So it, there's maybe a tool for the, the buyer, there's a tool for the seller, and so on. <coughs> uh, and, and how do users communicate? Uh, I, I've seen in, in this coffee shop people point to an entry on the menu, which works. Huh? And, and I would have loved to point it to the map in Algero for a bus ticket, but pointing to the map doesn't make anything happen, right? So. Uh, uh, Communicating is, is a different thing. 
And, and how often is the task performed? If, if I just take the bus once, it makes a difference from if I'm a student who takes the bus five times a week from the house to the university and five times back, right? This is, it really makes a difference. And, and what are the time aspects of the tasks? Am I in a hurry? Does the task take a long time or, is, or should it be done in a second? Buying a bus ticket for, in, and when it takes five minutes is not acceptable at all. Learning to ride a bike in five minutes would be nice, right? Most people take longer than that. <laughs> So it really depends on the task. Uh, and, and, and what happens if things go wrong? What happens if I'm in a shop and I don't have enough money? What happens if I only have a credit card and the shop owner doesn't accept credit cards? What happens if I enter the bus and I couldn't buy a ticket? Interesting questions. Right? And, and sometimes you just say, well, I will find out and nothing bad will happen, but sometimes you better think before. Shall I take money? Shall I take my credit card? Shall I make sure I have a batch of bus tickets? Okay. <laughs>